everybody. So this is a video on how to change your wires and combs when your door stops working uh, or if one wire breaks on the side. Um, there's a number of tools you'll need. So do the first things first. When you have got a, a spring-loaded door like this, so this is an up and over door, um, this just so happens to be a Henderson door, but I think they all work on the same principle. So, on the right hand side here, the first thing you need to look at, you need to look at the way the cone is wired, because later on, if you do what I do, you'll have to do this about three or four times later. So this goes down at the back of the cone, and it's this cone that you're gonna replace. So, this is a whole new cone. Now, interestingly, on one side you'll see it's got a divot on one side and on the other side you'll see that it's got a wire that goes in there and then the divots on this side that's worth paying attention to at this point too so you put them both on exactly the same way okay so when you start with this these are the tools you're going to need so you're going to need a hammer of some description i've used a mallet uh, you're going to need two big screwdrivers, you may need uh, pliers um, and you're definitely going to need a small screwdriver and a hammer because what you'll end up doing is you have to punch out the pins and I'll explain that in a little while. Okay, So you'll also need a bit of timber, so I've put a long length of timber on that so that when I start pulling up the using putting the screwdrivers in here you'll see um, how I mean so in essence what you do is you start here you take your first screwdriver and you lift it up and then you'll put a, a piece of timber to hold that in place and you need two screwdrivers because you need to move them up several times okay to take the tension off the wire once you've done that and got it in the right place what you need to do is if you look on the side here can you see this this pin here there's a pin that goes through now you do need you see it's not exactly flush but that's because the pin is longer than it needs to be and it, you need to have half a centimeter or so each side at the end of it so on the old um, pin what you do is what I did is I pushed it through one side turned it round and then sprayed uh, oil from the top and then bring it back and put the uh, pushed the pin back through the oil because the, it was stuck in place otherwise. So that's an easy, uh, an easy way of learning from my mistakes. So what you do is you take, you, you tension this off, then you take, push the pin through uh, with um, a smaller width screwdriver, throw it up, oil it in there, turn it round and then put the pin back through, pull the back, uh, put the screwdriver through and pull the pin out. Then once the pin's out, the cone will just slip straight off, put your new cone on and then put your pin in. But just remember that it needs to have half a centimeter or so protruding from the side. So then what happens is that the, it's easy to show on this side, is that you put your, your wire in here now both of the ends of the wire are exactly the same so it doesn't matter which way you do it and then up and round the back in my case you see the wire goes around the back of the cone and then runs down you see it coming through here it comes down to the locking plate here now as you can see from this side is basically what you can do is you can put the wire in from the side here um, that goes in there and then it slips back up and then obviously as it tightens it, uh, it tensions up quite nicely and really it's that simple I know it's, it's not going to be as easy as uh, that in real life but learning from my mistakes what you need to do is you need to have a nice bit of timber here that runs up here and then so when you take the when you take your screwdriver you need two screwdrivers and you tension each one up and then rest it on your timber and the next one you put in and then wrap it around further and put it on your timber um, ignore the, ignore this that's just a bit an extra bit of security for me uh, and then like I say a thinner uh, gauge 
screwdriver through there, oil it, then punch it back through, through the oil so it comes out easier. The cap will just come straight off the end, put the new one on, uh, put the wiring in, and then wrap it round the rear side, and then take it down to your, ten to your um, holder at the bottom, whatever that's called, or God only knows what it's called, but you know what I mean. Um, and then, and then what you'll do then is you'll obviously drop your tension off here. We'll wind these back. That'll tension up the wire. And before you know it, do it both sides. Jobs are done. The kit that I used was this one. Um, it's a cone and a cable set. It costs thirty-one pounds from Henderson's, who are based in Newcastle. Really helpful. That's about as much use as a chocolate teapot until you know what you're doing, and then it's really simple. So it's just one of those things that um, you learn by experience, really. But these, once again, these are the tools that you need. So you need pliers, WD-40, uh, a hammer. You might need a short uh, screwdriver, but probably not. These are the pins that have come out the other side. You didn't really use that one. It used a, a thin gauge. Um, screwdriver didn't use these pins at all. Got two two wider gauge. Um, these are six mil wide screwdrivers, a hammer, uh, and that's it. That's it. Hopefully that's all you'll need. Good luck. Give us some comments below if you want. If I can help you further, then I will. All right. Bye.